It is I, Wyrus Prime, and I'm here with a. As you can see, I have a bunch of Wither skeletons. And as of right now, my mission is to get an. Well, seeing that I already have a Wither skeleton spawner, I would like to, for the video, get another one of these. Allegedly. I mean, by allegedly, I mean I'm going to start out fresh without any of my current tools. As you can see, they are extremely OP, overpowered. So being that our mission is to get another Wither Skeleton Spawner, I will do it all as if you were a new player. Let's begin. I will start by putting all of my stuff away. So. I will only basically calculate how long it will take to attain every item that I was purpose to make the Wither Skeleton Spawner. I'll be taking some of these. Five sticks and six diamonds were used in the making of these tools. So, these are all the items we need to make Wither Skeleton Spawner. Two Nether Stars, four Eyes of an 8 nether quartz, 4 soul sand, 2 nether wreck, 2 end crystals, 128 bottles of enchant, 1 skeleton spawner, 1 wither skeleton skull, and 1 ender portal frame. So let's first get the wither skeleton skull. We need 7 of them for 3 each to become a nether star because we have to kill the wither and one extra wither skull to place here. So two on each of these sides and one wither skull and skull right there. So what I'm going to do is head into the nether and find a nether base. Whereas I will show you how long it will take to get a wither skull and skull with a regular old sword. Alright, and we're here. And Let's see if there is a Wither Skeleton here. I changed my mind. What we have to do, only we have, what we only have to do is kill. All right. So now I'm going to see how many tries it will take. Is that a Wither Skeleton skull? It is. That was 33 tries. But let's, however, look into the Gamepedia of Minecraft and find out how many tries on average it takes to get this Wither Skeleton Skull. As we can see this, this Wither Skeleton Skull had 2.5 chance of dropping when killed by the player without the looting. And looting, with looting 3, it increases the percentage point per level so therefore if it's 1% percentage per level, then looting 3 makes it level by 2.5 plus 3 is 5.5. So here I am going to attain a looting 3 sword. So 5.5 chance of dropping with looting 3 sword. Alright, got it. So we have established that it took 33 tries to get a wooden skeleton skull without the looting 3 and smite fire. Without the looting 3. Let's now see how many tries it takes with looting 3. Is that a skull again? It is. So that took 25 tries. Well, 
to subtract it. The difference is eight less tries than without the looting three sword. So that's a low difference, though it still comes in handy. All right. So now that we have seven skulls, we need soul sand to spawn in the withers and go. So let's see now. Just two of them. So that is done. Here we are, collecting some soul sand. The shovel comes in handy for this. Alright, so that's all we need. We can still collect some more. Alright, now it's been done. Now for nether core. There we go. Alright, time to spawn is as it's going to be over here. Well, hope I don't die. This match took about 17 minutes. Well, yeah, it took about 17 minutes to kill that wither. So let's see here. I need to have... There we go. So, the skeleton spawner. Which I already know where it, one is. My friend has one. Alright, so it's right here. There it is. Hold on. I need silk touch to mine. There we go. Now, do the get spawner. Oh, I didn't have it. Well, time to add it in our collection, which is right in here. Now, 128 XP bottles. Alright, that can be found in this chest. I will collect that. So, these XP bottles go here. There we go. Now for harder items and the end crystal. It is made up of one eye of... Where's the end port? Where's the end of pearl? Oh, here it is. One eye of ender, seven glass blocks, and two gas tears. So these will go into here. Now we need four more eyes of ender. We have it right now. And last but not least, the end portal frame. We need one glowing obsidian, four dark prismarine, six and stone, and four prismarine. Also, glowing obsidian is made up of five obsidian shards, four within a quart, two glowing stone dust, and two red. That may be a journey. We need a mixture compression hull and one obsidian. To make this mixture compression hull, I need all of this, which I already have down. So, I will go to Shopkeeper Mojina, which here I will get the mixture compression hole. And it's now working. Here it is, the mixture compression hole. And this crafting recipe is not working. Alright, we have it. So I'll put that in here. And we need up one. Here it is. The obsidian. My mouse doesn't click. Okay, so here we are. Okay, here we are, and we have it right here. So I will be getting the ingredients. All oh, right here. One, four. Five of these. Well, we have one little problem. We need of energy for it. So we need to get over here to the infinity book. Next, the fortune three book, which gives you a forge eye. And the ammo forge eye, the, I mean the energy forge eye, gives you this. Well, alright then. So I will now get this. This is glowing obsidian. So now they have this here. I'll take the crap table. Wait, well. So now I will 
get all the content from here. I need like these four of these and perhaps one of these. Four. So yeah, and that is has been made. So the end portal. I have finally achieved the temple. I don't need that. So now that I have the end portal frame, well, it's about time I craft. And seeing that I have all the items required, I am able to craft the Wither Skeleton Spot. We'll go over to G9, and here it is. These one, I need a craft table. Well, sacrifices must. And there we are. We have the Wither Skeleton Spawner. Let's see. I like to place it right on top uh, of this one. Pull up, that's the glitch. Alright, that is a good day.